Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy and it is Saturday and so I'm out running errands. I honestly just wanted to stay home all day. Uh, my daughter's staying on campus so with um, Halloween activities and stuff but I told her we could meet for um, lunch tomorrow so we're gonna do that and so yeah I'm out. Alright so I hope you all have had a good week and stay tuned I'll take you on my errands with me rattle some thoughts going through my head I tell you what I'm so I don't want to say scattered brain but there's so much that goes on in my head so many ideas that just oh it just drives me crazy um, all the ideas that will come to my head things I want to work on projects I want to start so it's really important just to take the day one at a time especially for me it's just too much. So I just went to Dollar Tree. Well, my first errand was UPS because I wanted to mail some things. Um, I watch Box Dan, Box D. Oh no, I forget what her channel is called. All right, sorry. Um, I watch her and she's an older woman in her 60s and she started out living in a car and that's the first time I was introduced to her. Um, through Bob Wells and so I've kind of followed her and um, she's a remarkable woman everything that she has um, gone through and survived and she's she builds out things and uses her power tools and I hope I can meet her one day she's in Arizona but I was sending her some scrubbies and then I had to send another box out to a friend subscriber friend who I've I've had this for so long it's taken me so long to mail it oh my goodness it's just been sitting in my on my table forever but they are finally mailed so then I went to Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you what I got from there and then I'm going to Lowe's or Home Depot because my little dog is digging out and that is the reason I'm out today that's the errand that made me get out. I've got to get something, bricks or something to put where she's trying to dig because this ground is really soft so she can dig those holes really fast. So stay tuned and come along with me for my Saturday. Okay, so Dollar Tree. I found a little, few little things at Dollar Tree. Uh, one thing was this. Um, my daughter and I, I don't know if it was last weekend, we were looking for something that she could put some cards in like a little accordion thing and we went to the office store and we could not find this size so leave it to Dollar Tree you know it's crazy I need to look at the camera but I found it so I hope that's what she wants and then scissors these are for my students um, I can't afford to buy like 30 of them at once so I'm gonna try and build up to at least 30 I think I'm going to have them work on taking those plastic these, taking these and making mats for the homeless. And so it's going to be a huge project, huge, huge, huge. Um, but I think every Friday, this is what we're going to work on. I want all of them off their cell phones. I want them actively participating. Um, I don't want them doing a worksheet or watching a video. I, I just want them doing something. Um, something that they'll remember. They will remember this for the rest of their lives. And also it will teach them how to crochet, which you never know what that could be used for. Just single crochet, but hey. Um, and then we give them to the homeless, however that's going to happen. So I'm working on getting scissors. I've got to get the big crochet hooks and I don't know how much, I can't do that. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm actually going to give the idea to my department head and see what the school will buy for me. I know I can get scissors from other teachers, and but like I said, I have to have one for a whole class set. Otherwise, somebody's sitting there not doing anything. So that's a different story. All right, and then I got this. Okay, this is a little door hanging thing, but what I'm going to use it for is my bathroom pass. So when students go to the bathroom, they can take this thing and get germs all over it. Because they need a pass and then I can just use I'm just going to use a permanent marker and write room my room number and my name 
and then they'll have something to carry to the bathroom with them. But like I said, germs, yeah, but it's, it is what it is. Then I found this thing. You may think, well, what in the world is that? Well, it's only a dollar and it's a perfect circle, see? So one idea I have is to make um, travel jewelry cases. And the idea is two circles of different diameters. So you have this one and then you have a larger circle or I could go smaller within this. So I'm gonna compare this to the plates that I have at home. And either this is gonna be the big one and I'll use a smaller plate for the inside or vice versa, whatever works. So that's why I got that. And then I found these stickers. They've got cameras and it says safe cheese, oh snap, capture. I got these for my daughter because she is um, wanting to learn photography and that's going to be one thing she focuses on in college. So I thought that was really cute and it's a dollar, so hey. Uh, oh, scissors, more scissors. I guess I got four. Okay, so here's an interesting thing that Dollar Tree had, a crochet hook. I've never, I heard somebody, I think I saw a YouTube video, Dollar Tree had crochet hooks, and I thought, really? For a dollar? So it's a small size, um, but I got it. I thought, why not try it out and see how it works? And then, all right, sorry about that. Phone call came in. Not only did they have crochet hooks, but they have yarn. So I don't know about this yarn. But this is the cotton. They had um, some acrylic yarn, but I got the cotton. You know, for only a dollar, that's a really good deal. But to make scrubbies, this, or dishcloths, this is gonna work. It, it feels fine. And um, for a dollar, I can make a lot of scrubbies out of this. Not that I sell them, I usually give them away, but it doesn't matter. One of these days, maybe I'll sell them, I don't know. Anyway, so yarn. Oh, and then I got some candles. These are just tea candles because, like, I've been looking on how, what to do with plastic bottles and how to repurpose them. And sometimes you have to melt a strip of the plastic and you have to hold it over a candle. So that was what this is for. And then I got these. Look at these. Hungry Jack potatoes. Hash browns. Freeze dried or something. Um, I saw these. And I also saw somebody on YouTube, I forget the name, Slim, Slim something, Slim something potato, I think he's called, I don't remember, but he's a guy that, I'm not good at remembering my YouTube channel that I watch. He's a guy that travels with a trailer, and he used to have an A-frame, and I think that's probably why I found him initially, the A-frame pop-up. And now he has like a scamp or something like that, the fiberglass ones, which are pretty durable little campers. And he does amazing videos. He is amazing, very professional, amazing, uh, yeah. So anyway, he used these and made himself a meal with these. Now here's the thing about these, they're freeze dried. And so I'm thinking these would good, be good things to store up. I should have bought like five. Now I think about it. Well, um, it says it serves a family of five. So yeah, and these, I, I tried to look for like an expiration date, but I don't know that there would be one. Oh wait, oh yeah, there is. Best Buy, September, 2021. So I have, I usually keep for a year. So uh, definitely good for camping, but I'm thinking more for survival in this who knows what's going to happen in the future i don't know if we'll go on another lockdown um, i don't know that the american people would tolerate another lockdown to be honest with you but you know what you never know so anyway all this stuff i think it was 12 dollars. and of course as a teacher you're always spending money on your classroom always so I spent money on my classroom, a couple dollars on my daughter, because that's what you do, and a few things for myself. So there you have it, Dollar Tree. Going to Home Depot or Lowe's, I'm not sure. Um, get something to cover these holes that my dog is digging. Because if she digs on the fence that's toward the road and gets out, that's not going to be a good thing. She could get hit by a car, and I don't know if I could find her. Um, 
Yeah, that would not be good. So that scares me. So always having to repair figure that. We did get we did I mean we've been here since the end of June and not had any problems. So all right, well that's enough about the Dollar Tree. Now I'm heading to Lowe's and I think that's it. Oh, I might go to Publix. I might go to Publix. I'm just looking for stuff for Thanksgiving meals. I couldn't find canned pumpkin at Walmart already. I thought, are you kidding me? So I need to get some canned pumpkin to make some pumpkin bread. I did get chocolate chips, though those were low in supply. And that's probably all I get. I've got cream of chicken soup. And anyway, I'm just trying to pick up stuff for that meal here and there. So, all right, we'll talk to y'all in the next video. Hey, YouTube family. Well, I am still not home. It is almost, it's 20 to four, my time. Oh, you know, I hate Saturdays like this where you're just out running all day. And I did get some bricks at Home Depot. And I also got some rocks because when she starts digging, if I had some rocks to throw down in the hole, then she can't dig the rocks out. And so, um, usually the rocks are like $10 a bag or more. I didn't really realize you could buy rocks, but okay, you can. And, but they had this little clearance sign for like $2.80. I could get these rocks from, um, I don't know what beach they're from, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, so I got a whole bag that was normally $11. I got it for $2.80. So that was a deal for sure. And I think I got five bricks, like edging bricks. So I hope that's enough for now. I hate to always have to worry about them getting out because if you let them out, then you can't, you have to just watch them the whole time. Um, it's nice when you can just let them out and you know, go do something else, but it is what it is. So from, let's see, from Home Depot, then I ran up to Goodwill. I wanted to check it out, but nothing there. You know, when I saw that yarn at that other Goodwill, I should have bought all they had because I have not seen anything like that since I found that. And I, they were like in packs of three brand new skeins of yarn. So, but anyway, you live and learn. Next time I'll know when I see that deal to pick it up. So, um, Where'd I go from there? My mask getting in the way. I like this thing. I got this little thing so I can, mostly for work, but it's nice. Um, that way I don't forget it. I've left it in the car before and had to go back. So, all right, so I went to my, oh, then I had to go to GameStop. I think I went to GameStop before Michael's because my daughter's roommate's controller fell in the dog, water bowl and it ruined it and it was only in there for a second my daughter said she picked it up really quick but it hasn't worked since so I know the right thing to do is replace that controller so but I haven't been able to so uh, now that I am able to I went and got a used one they're not cheap oh my goodness these controllers for these gaming systems not cheap but I got her a used one because it was used and um, it's got a year warranty on it. So if something happens to it, even if they drop it in the dog food water, they can take it, she can take it and get another one. So I got that and I did run into Michael's. Did I say that already? I ran into Michael's and not, not much there. there. They didn't have any sales. There's nothing going on. Sometimes I go in to check. Well, I think I went into Ross too. There was a Ross right by Michael. So I kind of, sometimes I just run into stores just to see, you know, um, if I'm missing anything or a huge sale, you know. So I ran into Ross and I got my daughter a hoodie. Um, I'll explain that later. Anyway, where else, what else did I get there? That may have been it. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. All right, so I got her a little hoodie because one of the rooms, her classrooms, the, for some reason it's like 50 degrees and it's really cold and they can't fix it. So, okay. So, um, 
and Ross is pretty reasonable, especially hoodies. Hoodies are expensive, and so, you know, to get one for $12, that's a pretty good deal. So I think that's all I got. So sometimes I run into a store, and I'm not even getting very much, if anything. And um, just to, I try to go in if there's something I need. I do look around, like I looked around to Ross, see if something hit me, but, you know. All right, so then I think I'm about ready to head home. I'm still not home, though. And my uncle calls me and he says, um, you need to probably pick up some toilet paper. I said, we're not starting this again. But you know, I did see, I think on Facebook that it was in Michigan. Some people, some of my friends from Michigan were talking about how, um, they're, we're running out of toilet paper again. The shelves are empty of toilet paper. And I'm thinking, what? why so anyway um i was going to run into Publix to get some pumpkin because i couldn't find it at walmart so i get some i did go to pump pumpkin <laughs> i did go to Publix and i picked up a couple things of toilet paper just in case and i found some pumpkin and i found some little juice things for my daughter and some I got her some few little snacks in case she gets quarantined next week. So now I'm I'm getting a chocolate shake, and this guy cut in front of me, and I don't know why. It really makes me mad. I was in the drive-through, okay, and he just cut around me. I don't know if he ordered online or through an app but that's not right. So anyway, so after today, I just wanted a chocolate shake. <laughs> Sometimes you just want a chocolate shake, you know? Oh, okay, so something else I've noticed, people driving around with flags and honking their horn. I'm like, I just wanna get home, please just get me home. Oh my goodness, get me home. Cause people are gonna start getting crazy in the next two days. I think the biggest fear, people are now afraid, if Biden becomes president, he's gonna shut the country down. And so people are trying to stock up again, like the same scenario we went back through in last March. I'm like, why did he do this? He shouldn't have even said something like that. Because now everybody's gonna go in this panic mode. And if he does shut us down, I don't know. I don't even have time to get out of this country if I wanted to. I got my passport, but it takes money. So anyway, I hope that doesn't happen. I really hope it doesn't happen. I don't think, or I think, first of all, I don't think it's good for our economy and more people to lose jobs than it's already lost jobs and the American people are not going to stand for it. They'll, they'll revolt against it. So I, that's just going to cause more riots. That's scary. You know, that's scary. And you know what? I don't want to talk about that. Let's not even go there. Let's not go there. All right. So um, I'm waiting for my shakes behind this guy that cut in front of me. And then I'm going home. There's a Harbor Freight right here. I thought about running in there because I need an X-Acto knife. It's funny when you move things that get lost. I used to have a really nice one that flipped out and I don't know what happened to it. So, all right, well, that's my errands for today. I don't want this video to be forever, ever long. Um, but I did, do, you know, I did find something at Ross, I forgot. Okay, so you know those loom things that you, let me just show you, this stuff. I don't know, did you ever have one of these when you were a kid? Well, Ross had a big old bag of the loops, and Ross is fairly cheap. So I have this huge bag of loops, and I thought, you know what? I, first of all, I need hot pads, and um, I thought, why not just make some, you know? And because I never have any hot pads when I go take things out. So anyway, um, I got this at Michael's, and I got it 20% off. I think it was $8, and then I got 20% off. So I do try to, you know, save. Then now I have that whole big
big thing of loops. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Make me some hot pads. So yeah. Anyway, I've been looking at ways to make those um, beds, those mats out of plastic bags. I did grab a bunch at the Publix. And so I really want my students to do that. And there's some people that weave them and I've been watching weaving ones, but you have to re you have to make the weave thing, which is a big contraption. I thought, where would we put that? So I think the best thing for us to do is crochet it. We've got to get those big crocheting needles. And I looked at, that's the one reason I went to Michael's. I looked at Michael's and they have one, but they sell it with something else. So it was like $5. And then, um, I, um, lost my train of thought. I need to look at Walmart for one of those big hooks. I'll show it to you when I get started with that. But anyway, this will be fun. Another project because I don't have enough. Oh, another thing. I didn't get much at Michael's. Just that and this. This I got to make a hat for my daughter. She liked the beanie that I made, but she likes this color. And it has some little different colors. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to make her a little hat. I probably could make more than one with this. So I make her a hat because she's going to go up to Kansas with her dad over the Christmas. So she'll need a hat. She doesn't need it here. So anyway. All right, y'all. Well, that's been my Saturday. I'm still not home. So y'all be blessed and I will talk to you later. Hey, YouTube family. I guess I'm not done with this video. I did finally get my shape. Finally. I tell you what. Okay, I told you that guy cut in front of me. Mm -hmm. Well, when I got up there, I'm just sitting at the window and nobody, nobody even comes to me. And I'm like, hello? So they finally see me sitting there and she comes to the window like she has no clue what I am sitting there for. And I said, I had a chocolate shake. And she was like, Oh, you know, like they had no clue. And I'm thinking, how do you not know? I just, I was the only car in the drive through And then that one guy sped in front of me, yelling whatever he yelled. And so I'm sure they gave my shake to him. And I told her that guy sped in front of me. And she said, well, he had a pickup order. Okay, well, that's nice you had a pickup order, but you still wait in line. Because that's what kind of messed everything up. I think they just gave mine to his and didn't realize it. They gave it with his order. So, anyway. I got my shake. Oh. I think I'm going to drive through this RV place. I've driven through it before, once. But I want to drive through it again. Just because to check it out a little bit more. They do actually have small homes here as well. There's one there that's for sale, which I, I don't think I could get approved to buy a home in the first place, even a tiny home at that. But, um, so I'm just gonna drive through here and I'll try to shoot some video for you guys. I think I've done it before though. But I even tried to get a job here, but I never got called. But hopefully I can just drive through. It is a regular RV park. But you can, um, like you can rent if you're just visiting, but a lot of people just stay here. So I'm going to check it out. I'll let you know. There's a lot of people out, so maybe I won't video. Okay.